The last but the zombies as you guys probably know, is a tower defense game in which you use different plants to kill specific zombies. The thing is that not 100% of the game is actually skill based, there are some luck involved in it. The issues to understand are lanes. Any new zombies can go to any random lane, which means we have to plan in all of those lanes. But because I hate RNG, I deleted all the lanes and asked the question. Can you beat plants vs zombies? With only one lane? Well, we're obviously skipping one one since it isn't changed. But you may be asking, if it is really just you are, how are you defending your lanes? Well, I don't. Because thanks to a girl of pin, all the zombies spawn in just one lane. Make sure to check his channel, will be in the pinned comment. As you can see here, all the zombies, even in the final wave, spawn in one lane. I will talk more in detail about it in a moment. Now, before everyone calls me a shear, you guys should know that it is possible for zombies to spawn in one lane. I recommend you guys to watch this Jay Chen's video after the challenge, he will explain everything for me. I'll just skip this level too since having only one lane to defend is actually easier on. Okay, when I unlocked the Warnot, only one thing came to my mind. Read. I mean, you can clearly see here that with Warnot, some won't be a problem anymore. Oh yeah, I'm skipping this one too. One not boring wasn't a problem honestly, just blows his spam and bounces a bit. This level adds pole bottles on this but yeah, nothing interesting, just move on. Everything has been easy and now add that zombies are slow now. Incredible. Let's go to the next one. It's really one for but with bucket heads, and we can just block them with one knot really easy. This level is a joke, we unlock a plant and double special damage. Let's move on. Infinite Charlie one, nothing to say about this one. But don't worry, if all of this challenge was easy, it wouldn't be real. Now we've entered night time, which means we're more limited in sun than ever. This will be hard. Yeah, potions are just too broke in this game. I just use them to defend until I can afford a repeater and the level is over. Yeah, you can clearly see that the repeater just carries the level easily. It's a one free of level and fusion infinite pierce is just a P. And count the fact that I was only playing with six seeds yet. This level has four bottles, but we can bait them with potions. Another easy one. I am the active skip in this one, since you don't need to plan to win anyways. Well, two things as football zombies, so now we have a shot. <laughs> Nothing to say here. The scary shoot makes everything even easier now. Michael and Jackson can spawn zombies in two lanes we can defend. Sounds bad, right? Well, it would be if one of them exists. Since we can use it to start until we have enough sun for cherry bomb. And even if you couldn't defend on the start, you should have enough sun for cherry bomb at the end of the level. Basically 2-8 with a dungeon at the end. Just use a dungeon for every micro Jackson zombie and you should be fine. Okay, so you might be confused. Why no pull range? Well, once again, this video explains it better, but... Basically, there's a minimum chance for zombies to not spawn in pool, which is perfect for this challenge. Also, please ignore this, I couldn't find any way to stop it from happening. 
Even though 32 have full of zombies, they can spawn on the final wave. Really easy. Since poor zombies can spawn, I'm just keeping 3 3 and 3 4. Here's one full lane of features. Now some bunnies are devastating. They ruin our space to plan. This is terrible. Yeah, at this point I think it's pretty reasonable to keep our pool levels since they're the same as day ones. Now, if you see the duration of this video, you will see that it makes no sense because we're only 5 minutes on. But from fog, it's when things start to get really bad really quickly. But for one isn't the case, basically a nice level with all plans of the And jumping the bus. The real game is pretty straightforward. Just spam Tushroom since we don't have space for Grandos anyways. And farm some for the late game. And once you're for a few mushroom, the level is basically over. Just protect it and win. Balloon zombies are a huge problem actually. Since we don't have much space, we don't have enough time to stop it in time. I know we are some young morons, and some mission not spawn in the lane now, but they could spawn in the wrong lanes all together. It's all in the realm of possibility. I am confident to say that this year was easier than for the three, because we have more time before balloon zombies appear. It wasn't a problem. Probably more than 80% of people watching knew this was going to be the end. Or was it? Well, you have to consider some things in this level. The most important is, plants and zombies are always the same. First wave has 4 basics and 1 bucket head. Second wave has 5 basics, 1 bucket head and 1 football zombie. And the last one has 6 basics, 2 bucket heads and 1 man conjunction zombie. So for you to win, you will need these zombie stones. Since we can't defend the first row, that means one of your mower is gone. As for second wave, this would be the perfect spans. And once again, we have to use another young mower for this to be done. And this is what you need for the last wave. Also consider that for obvious reasons, it is necessary for Michael Jackson zombie to spawn in the third lane. And yeah, really, with no land mowers left, this level is totally possible. Now, if you're still watching this video, you probably watch a lot of content like this. So why not subscribing? It motivates me a lot and also notifies you when I drop a new challenge. 30% are legends. Dear zombies are much of a problem. One squash can easily deal with them. I'll skip over this one since one dungeon and a hypnotism for diggers are good enough. I never got to see the puzzle zombie here, which just goes to show how easy this level was. Honestly, fog was kinda boring, and it is ironic that the hardest level didn't even include fog. But well, there's still one level left, so let's not get too confident. I mean, this level first seems is going to be really easy because of pumpkin. But since all zombies are coming in one lane, pumpkins can only hold them for like 3 seconds. And just look at this, all the plants we have in the conveyor belt are useless. Yeah, we'll have to change our strategy. 
So what I did was reverting the game to have full range again. And use this since they're more safe to piano. But no matter how hard I tried, it seemed like LMG just wasn't on my side anymore. So I think it's time to do this over and over again. After some VPN, I decided to start using safe stomach to make it easier for me. And something I didn't mention is the bucket heads can be killed if they are in the thick. I don't have to talk about this level, Starfleet is really good, but not again bucket heads and power zones in this level. I actually ended up safe coming other ways, since the amount of love you need for bucket heads is really bad. I had to save from the final wave a lot of times, but finally here it is. As you can see, our strategy in growth really doesn't change at all. We still use potato mines to defend in the early game. And yeah, even though we only used 5 times the entire level, it was really easy. Yeah, I got really lucky with the bungee spans in the final wave. Our strategy will keep being the same since we have a lot of time to get Sonari on. And yeah, as you can see here, the cycle is ready. Block zombies, spend an insta kill, and repeat. Well, now we start only with 3 flower pots which means our plant space for some flower is limited. Now that's bad. Yeah, I was just kidding, potato mine and squash still carry the early game. And just in case you ask about the large zombies, they just die. This level would have been easy if it had to flash. You can clearly see that after the second flank, things didn't go well. But even after everything died, our roof could not well enough for the final way. Wait, excuse me? So are you telling me I played all of that just for the easiest minigame to be impossible? No, it can't be. No, no, no! 
If Bing couldn't change it, that won't stop me from beating it. And I can finally say Hi-Fi is possible with only one game. It was really fun to play, all those 4 hours were worth it. I did some grinding of camera guys. Now with 10 seed slots and the garlic, pretty much every level is built. Yeah, as you see here, the level is automatic now. Hive 7 is also easy, since Gary helps Rumchum to kill any zombie, and Carapus die to Fumchums. This level has basic, gang hands and gargantos. About gargantos though... Honestly, the only scary part about this level was jacking the bus zombies. Nothing else. In case you don't know, the way to beat this level is just to let the zombies activate the group cleaner. Some bus won't spawn any new zombies in that game once it is activated. So yeah, that means your opinions and ice rooms are enough to win. Any zombie he spawns one game for more than 5 seconds. And now we can finally answer the question. How can you beat the answer to zombies with only one game? Yes. You should try it though. Well, if you watch the video until this part, you should already know the answer. What you should know too, is you should subscribe so you don't miss minigames video next week. Thanks everyone for watching and see ya!